Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn about message enrichment in Mule 4. Message enrichment basically means adding value or data to an already existing message payload in such a way that it does not destroy the existing payload or the data that we already have. So we can do this in two ways, either using the flow reference component or using the HTTP request component. First, I'll show you how to use the flow reference component to enrich a message. So in this flow, what we have is the listener listening to uh, requests for this flow. We set a payload in, which includes an array containing three elements. The payload is then transformed to application JSON. And then the flow reference component sends our payload to the reference flow. But if you look carefully at the configuration of our flow reference component, you can see that the payload of the reference flow is stored in a target variable called sports brands. So what's happening in reference flow is that we're setting a payload which is again an array of three different strings and the payload is then transformed to application JSON and when it returns to its calling flow the flow reference stores this payload in a target variable called sports brands and in the final transform message we can see this is the output that we desire payload will refer to our original payload array and the variable sports brand will refer to the payload of the flow referenced by the flow reference let's deploy this application and see how it works let's hit the url of our flow and this is exactly what we had defined in our transform message so these three companies or elements were part of our original payload and these three companies were part of our second payload from our reference flow so we have been able to enrich a message using the payload of two flows basically we use the payload of our calling flow as well as the reference flow and we were able to create a new payload containing the payload of both these flows. So let's look at how to enrich a message using an HTTP request. For that we will have to delete this and look for HTTP request in your palette. Drag and drop it after the first transform message in the flow. We need to set a request configuration for a HTTP request component. So in the host field we put in localhost and the port field make sure your port is the same as that of your HTTP listener port and click on OK. And let's add a listener to our referenced flow. and we'll give it a path e2 so what we're trying to do here is try to use this http request component to call the reference flow so in the request configuration we'll put in the path we'll give the path of the reference flow which is e2 the difference between the http request and flow reference components is that you can send in parameters just body, headers, query parameters, URI parameters when you make an HTTP request whereas that is not possible with a flow reference component and in the advanced tab what we do is again target variable will specify as sports brands 
and this will do the same thing what our flow reference component did it will store this payload in a variable called as sports brands in the main flow so we can try this out save it and redeploy it if we hit the same url again after our application has been redeployed you can see that we get the exact same payload back from the server this is because the same operation has been performed by the http request component as well so these are the two ways to enrich a mule event payload using the flow reference component as well as the http request component